from the makers of Surya OCR, we now have Chandra OCR. So Chandra OCR is open source. It is able to extract full layout information, extracts and captions images and diagrams, strong handwriting, form and table support, works with transformers and VLLM. So I thought I will try out this particular model on my OCR test data set to see how it performs. Uh, on their GitHub, uh, they say that this model on the OLM OCR benchmark is scoring around 83.1. OLM OCR 2 is 84. Okay, this model seems to be better on this benchmark when compared to DeepSeq OCR, okay, dots OCR as well. So let's try out this particular model in a collab notebook. So let me open up my collab notebook over here. So first you need to install Chandra OCR. So I'm making use of an L4 instance over here. And uh, you know what has happened over here is that uh, this notebook has timed out and it has reconnected. But it took close to 18 GB of GPU RAM for me to work with this particular OCR. This is an L4, uh, you know, instance. Let me check the instance type. Uh, it's an L4 instance type basically. So this has 22.5 GPU RAM, right? So first I need to install the OCR, Chandra OCR. And then what I need to do is that I also need to install flash attention because I'm using the hugging face mode for the model to run locally. Then all I have to do is that I have uploaded the test images in OCR test over here. I want the output to be returned to OCR output. I can call like this Chandra by passing the input directory or folder where my uh, files are present and where I need to write the output and method as hugging face transformers. So initially it took some time to download the uh, what do you call hugging face model and then it started processing these files right uh, on the average you know it started processing these files on the average i think it took somewhere close to two three minutes for every two minutes at least for every file right one to two minutes i'm not sure about the exact time but it took close to uh, 48 minutes for it to process you know uh, close to 19 files right so basically using this command what it does is that every image it converts it into or it does OCR, it gives you HTML output, it gives you markdown output as well. And in case, in some uh, cases, if there are images, right, it will also give you the images. Uh, so these images are part of your HTML file, I'll explain it. So it also gives you some of these images. If they are image, if something is present as image content, then that image is also extracted and it gives the output. So that is what I saw in some cases, uh, you know, uh, it was giving the images as well, right? So now let's look into this output files. Let's compare across this, you know, 15 files or something, how this model has performed. So running this model is as simple as this, right? Now let's look at the results. Okay. Uh, so let's, the first image which I wanted to test was, uh, good. The first image which I wanted to test was this tabular data, okay, a very clean tabular data image. So I gave this as input basically and if you see over here, this is the markdown which has been generated. Uh, so if you look at the values over here, it has extracted all the values properly. A quick look basically, I'm not going into the details over here, but a quick look tells me that most of the values have come properly and it has done a good, uh, you know, See this part over here, stockholders equity 0, 0, 084, 86, uh, 725. It has actually pulled, you know, 84, 800. Was it over here? It was 84, 800. So it has pulled these values properly over here. The tabular data structure, the markdown output is given in a very nice manner. If you look at the uh, HTML output, even that is given in a good manner. So for this particular file image, it works properly. Now let's try out another image. Uh, so let's go to this uh, particular image basically, right? Uh, so this is a handwritten data. If you look at over here, you have this for the Motilal Nehru Committee uh, Bill of Rights and other things. Let's look at how the markdown for this particular file is. Okay, Bill of Rights, uh, list of rights mentioned, protected in the Constitution, Bill of Rights, this thing, the Motilal Nehru Committee 
I demanded as 1928. Uh, I was inaugurated in December. I see it has done a very good job over here as well. Right, this is the HTML of that file. Okay, so here this is handwritten data. I see it's done a good job of this particular handwritten data over here. Okay, now let's look at the next image. Uh, this has mathematical equations over here. Okay. Uh, let's look at the HTML over here. The mathematical equation is not rendered properly, but other things it does good OCR. Let's look at the markdown to see how it is coming in. So it is coming as, you know, latex over here, math cal, uh, this is the expression. So over here also it is done a good job. I would say that it is done a good job on this image as well. On an average n star c, I think it is coming from, where is that on average? Okay, this thing on average n slash c, where c is the number of classes. Okay, on average is dollar n c dollar where c dollar c dollar is the number of classes. Again, it is picking up some things over here. I'm not sure if it is picking up this in latex, but the equation it is pulling out properly in latex over here. Okay, so yeah, the next image which probably which we wanted to test was this one. This is just a newspaper simple image. So let's look at how the output for this particular image has come. So it says photo of Katie Mohan, uh, this thing. So here is where I'm saying like, you know, you have this, it extracts that photo and that is also available over here as images, right? So it does good on this image as well. This is the HTML part of that this thing. Accuracy is fine over here. Okay, Morris Town woman accidentally damaged, USB verified. I'm not seeing any hallucination or anything over here. Now, this is the next image which we wanted to test out, right? So let's see how it is pulled out over here. Let's look at the markdown. Okay. So here is the surprise. Medicine always tries to better you thought. Okay. Next generation, new journal England. Okay. Uh, so small icon representing a download or share function. So that's what it gives an explanation for the images also, which are present over here. Uh, so this is one image. This is one image. This is one image. Let's see what it is given over there. Image showing two small white oval pills or capsules. Nice. Then uh, the New England Journal of Medicine logo, nice. So that it is giving over here. Uh, and what else is it giving over here? This logo. And for this, there is a, cop a date. So let's see what it is giving over here. For that, it is giving this date also over here. So it's done a good job over here. The next is a complicated image. So if you see over here, you have this image with various text present over here. So let's look at how it has done it. Over here, I think it's done a good job. It is pulling out all these terms over here, emerg emerging medications. So it has done a good job. It, is, it has not really missed out anything. Uh, let's see if it has missed out some of the things because in some cases, in these kind of images, it kind of misses out emerging indications. Okay. It is even pulled out this n dot back. Right? Yeah. So it is pulled out uh, those things. Maybe the layout the way in which it is representing over here it might have gone for a toss but otherwise it's doing a good job of OCR per se over here okay so emerging medications take it out emerging medications over here okay this is emerging indications so right at root right, all these things should come under over here so let's see if it has done that emerging medications mm -mm -mm. yeah I think it has done that okay so it's done a good job over here as well I'm trying to see if there is any hallucination, anything over here. No, I think it's done a good job. And it also gives you all the images which has been extracted from this over here. Okay. So next image which we want to try out is this handwritten image. I, I hope this note finds you in good spirits. I always hoped that I would be able to teach my children the important thing. Let's see if you can quickly see important thing. That would be good. My daughter was a personal trainer recently. She uh, okay exercising. Okay, order there are two things. Fine, fine, fine. It's done a very good job of this handwriting recognition over here. There are no errors. Markdown also looks fine to me. The next image which we want to look out is this doctor's prescription. Again, handwritten. So let's see how it pulls out this particular image. So here it says, okay, teeny ox, homoxylin. This is fine. Cap uh, one, cap three, X a day for seven days. Tela Cruz. Okay, it's done a good job over here also. McCarty CT done a good job this one every OCR kinds of fails over here this is actually uh, you know that time mocks or something like that even I'm finding it difficult to read almost every OCR messes up this part but the rest of the parts have come out properly over here 
right if you look at the html also it's come out amoxicillin it come out properly over here the next image which i wanted to test was a slightly complex medical prescription again neck mass noted two weeks ago no pain physical exam let's look at this particular image and see what is the output html is this thing okay concerns neck mass noted two weeks ago no physical exam diagram showing a neck mass okay that it shows very well a right low slow move swallowing feels solid left cancer not cancer not tenderness options biopsy needles okay ultrasound this thing thyroid it's done a decent job i would say of this particular image or even a better job okay never are newer swallowing this thing feels solid firm no tenderness no redness right uh, here you have something let's see this risk pain uh, bleeding okay think over here it's done a good job it might have missed on some of the things but see risk pain bleeding infected scar availability recovery 1t 1t readily available mm, 1t 1t it's pulling out this thing readily available readily available next scar indirect benefit uh, this thing biopsy needle ultrasound it's actually done a good job over here i would say even though it might have missed some things but it's done a good job of this handwritten document as well okay a doctor's prescription it is done a decent job over here i would say or or even a good job yes okay this is a markdown of it yeah it kind of the layout and other things maybe go, goes for a little bit of toss but otherwise it's done a good job of extracting what is present over there in that image the next image is this vector calculus handwritten image so here if you look at it pulling the math in latex uh, it's pulled out the math let's look at the html and see here the html goes for a toss because the latex part is not properly rendered but i think it's doing a good job here as well okay another example of a math rotated file basically let's see what happens over here uh, you know again formulas don't come but if you look at the this thing it is pulling out int dx is equal to x plus c uh, fraction of this thing so it is kind of pulling out each of the things properly over here okay, the equations it's done a good job over here cos x dx is equal to sin x plus this thing so let's look at that particular image uh, you have this cos x is equal to sin x plus c cos x dx so it is actually doing a good job of you know a rotated image also handwritten math formula right uh, so it is done a good job of that as well okay so then we are looking at this particular newspaper uh, and let's see what is the output over here india celebrates freedom and then it has gone to this thing page 3 4 memorable scenes in madras gates of allegiance so the headlines are being pulled properly over here okay uh, historic midnight session i am not sure what it is i can i cannot read anything over here right i am not sure what it is hallucinating over there or you know 1947 india is welcome to see freedom historic card okay okay at the clock chime at 12 rogers below all the members dr rajendra prasad nehru what is that pulling it from uh, i'm not able to read anything so this is some kind of hallucination of the text over here okay that is how it looks to me i don't think it is really pulling out anything uh, it is kind of hallucinating things over here i would have just expected it to pull these headlines because that is at least clear visible but i don't know uh, i'm not able to read anything so i if, even if i zoom i'll not be able to do anything okay so it is hallucinating over here so it can hallucinate the next image is a very simple image over here it does a good job i would say it pulls out all the values properly it even gives you the images description as well over here then i have tested this newspaper okay this is a kannada text and it hallucinated it is converting everything into hindi over here uh, so that is an issue which is present over here maybe the language is not supported so it starts hallucinating going into a random language this is again a newspaper okay here it does a good job uh, it is pulling something but again hallucination if you see over here uh, it is not done a good job sorry about that it is kind of hallucinating so there are some hallucination issues with this particular model uh, otherwise it is generally a very good OCR but I am seeing some hallucination issues with this particular model in certain use cases okay especially this newspaper image I had seen uh, some spelling errors do come okay not everything is solved um, so there is some kind of hallucination present so they are saying that this supports 40 plus languages two inference models local which is what we tried and remote vllm server and it can convert document to markdown html json with detail layout information good handwriting support reconstructs forms accurately including check boxes good supports for tables math and complex layouts extracts images and diagrams with captioned and structured data 
so you can go and check out this chandra ocr and see how it performs um so this was a short video on chandra ocr i have evaluated it comprehensively on a set of data sets so this is also a good ocr but it also has its own issues hope this video is useful see you in another video